We're now going to solve applications involving quadratic equations. The example we're going to give is a work problem, but this one's a little different than the other ones we've seen. So let's look at it. When a father in a car and his son on a bicycle work together to distribute the morning newspaper, it takes them 35 minutes to complete their route. Working alone, it takes the son 25 minutes longer than the father. To the merest minute, how long does it take the son to cover the route on his bicycle? So here's what we know. We have a father, we have a son, and we have them working together. When they work together, it takes them a total of 35 minutes. The son takes 25 minutes longer than the father, so that's going to be however long the father takes plus 35, and the father then will take t. Our per time will be 1 over t, 1 over t plus 30, 25, not 35, and 1 over 35 for the together per time. So now we have all the information we need. We set this up as 1 over t plus 1 over t plus 25, equals 1 over 35. We find our lowest common denominator, which is 35t times t plus 25, and we multiply both sides by that. When we distribute, the t on the first one will divide out, leaving 35 times t plus 25. The t plus 25 will divide out on the second one, and the 35 will divide out on the right side. So if we were to put this here, we could see it better that way. Alright, so here's our equation. And if you notice, it's going to turn into a quadratic equation really quickly. Because on the right, we're going to get t squared plus 25t. On the left, though, we've got just a little bit to figure out, we need to know what 35 times 25 is, 875. Let's line that up. And then we're going to get 35t and 35t. So this 35 and this 35 add up to 70t. Since it's a quadratic equation, we can move everything over, so let's subtract 70t and 875 and get 0 equals t squared minus 50t minus 875. Well, we can try and factor this or we can use the quadratic formula. And since I don't see it factoring very quickly, I'm going to jump straight to the formula. So we're going to let t equal minus a minus 50 plus or minus the square root of minus 50 squared minus 4 times 1 times minus 875 all over 2 times 1. Well minus a minus 50 is easy, that's just 50. And 50 squared is easy, that's 2500. Minus times a minus is a plus and 4 times 875 is 3500 all over 2. Well, 3,500 plus 2,500 is 6,000. So t equals 50 plus or minus the square root of 6,000 over 2. And 6,000 doesn't appear to be a perfect square, so let's break it down. 6,000 is 60 and 100 which is 2 and 30, 2 and 15, 3 and 5. 100 is 10 and 10, which is 2 and 5 and 2 and 5. So I've got a pair of 2's here. I've got a pair of 2's here. And I have a pair of 5's here. But it's going to leave this 15 behind. So we're going to get 4, 2 times 2, times 5 is 20. So 20 comes out. 50 plus or minus 20 root 15 all over 2. Well, at this point, we know that 2 divides into 50 and it divides into 20, so t equals 50 divided by 2 is 25, plus or minus 20 divided by 2 is 10, 
root 15. So on our calculator now, we do 25 plus 10 times the square root of 15 is 63 or 64 minutes. And the other one, 25 minus 10 times the square root of 15 is minus 14 minutes. Since we can't have negative time, we can rule out the minus 14 minutes, which means the father, T, does the job in 64 minutes, and the son does it in 25 more than that, so 64 plus 25, which is 89 minutes. So our answer to the question is, it'll take him 89 minutes working by himself to finish the job, rounded to the nearest minute, of course.